This is Israeli Hamas war next steps to eradicate the Nazi type Hamas. Ex Israel Prime Minister Naftali Bennett. Okay, so I think he was more on the liberal side, but on the left side. By left, I don't mean uh, I don't mean what we mean left here. By left, I mean we want a two state solution. We want to build relationships with. What are the next steps for the Israeli uh, military in terms of dealing with Hamas? We uh, set a goal of eradicating the Hamas. Uh, the first step until now was uh, to fend off and fight uh, all the terrorists that are still in Israel and uh, kill them. as many Hamas terrorists as possible and protect our people. Uh, as we speak right now, there are a lot of uh, forces, special forces, fighting those uh, Hamas Nazis in uh, southern towns, but it seems that we're on top of things uh, right now. Uh, the next step is to go... Okay, now, now, stop for a second. Could you imagine that you live... Because remember, Israel is very developed. A lot of the, a lot, a lot of the area, country... Uh, Towns around it, I mean, countries around it aren't. They're not super duper modern, especially in Gaza, right? But 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 it's Israel's it's Israel's like the West. And imagine that there's still potentially terrorists loose in your neighborhoods. Imagine that that you start hearing reports of the very terrorists that went in and killed civilians are getting treated in the same hospitals as the civilians that they injured. Like this is such a crazy situation. On the offensive and to eradicate uh, this uh, Nazi type Hamas. We, I, I, in my life, I've never used the term Nazi for anything but the original name. This is the first time I'm using it because uh, it's the exact same ideology. ideology. I mean, I think Nazi Hamas is, is fairly accurate. Annihilating uh, Jews just because they're Jews. Right. We are talking about monsters who sever parts of bodies, uh, abduct the 85 year old women and the two month year old babies. Uh, this is not an enemy. By the way, the baby thing was so gross. The fact they came out and a reporter said that they, they discovered a kibbutz. But if you don't know what a kibbutz is, they're like these compounds, the communes that everyone lives together. And the fact that they were like, they didn't decapitate babies as if like, as if, like, <laughs> as if like, oh, OK, well, they're not that far gone. They didn't decap. They just women and killed children and, and, and innocent civilians. They didn't decapitate babies. And then they had to go out of their way. And Ben Shapiro tweeted a photo of a, like, this is crazy talk. This is crazy talk that they have to, they have to verify these things to say, no, 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 no. They're really that far gone. This is a monster and we're going to treat it as such. And we've just heard from a woman whose entire family have been taken while pursuing Hamas. How is the IDF going to make sure that civilians, ordinary Palestinians are not caught up in the violence? The responsibility for all the Israelis uh, in captivity uh, lies with Hamas. I can tell you right now that uh, Hamas, see Hamas, is uh, soon to feel the full wrath of the Israeli people because we're a nation of lions. Yes, we took a, a huge hit. I want to show you the Kedem family, this family. Father Jonathan, the mother Tamar, the girls Shaha Arbel and the little baby Omel. This is just one family that was totally wiped out, murdered from point blank among the dozens and dozens of families that are wiped off of earth by these monsters. But at the same time, I want to tell you that Israel and the Jewish people were a nation of lions. Mm -hmm. We're up. We're up. And I can tell you that in all military units. Did he say we're up? Like, is he saying, is he using like, if it's up, it's up slang? He can't be using if it's up, it's up slang. Service. I'm, I fought for many years in the, the commando units of, uh, of IDF. I was defense minister, prime minister. I can tell you, we're at 150% enlistment rate. Every Israeli wants to go fight and hit and kill those terrorists. We're going to hit back like you've never seen before. And what, was, uh, Mr. Bennett, what responsibility do you think that the Israeli army now have on making sure that other families aren't torn apart by this, other innocents aren't lost in this? And I'm speaking specifically about the Palestinians in Gaza. Now... I think the answer here should have been, you know, when we go in, we we, we do the, the, the roof knock things. If you guys don't know what those are, historically, Israel drops little roof knock bomb, uh, little bombs, not bombs, but they like they go off, but they don't cause any damage. And that lets the people, civilians in the homes in, in, in Gaza know, hey, you got, you got 10 minutes to get out. You got 15 minutes to get out. You got 60 minutes to get out. Right. So they do the roof knock things before they blow down the houses. We send leaflets. We send text messages. We get we get the word out to get out of civilian areas. I think that would have been the good answer. We we go out of our way to make sure that civilians are not injured, unlike Hamas. Let, let's see what he says here. Well, the Palestinian uh, IDF does not target uh, um, civilians ever. Okay. We're good not uh, like our Nazi enemy. Okay. We will never target civilians deliberately. What we do is when there's a, a building. And, and by the way, I I I, I trust I, I agree with that because I don't know. I, I have friends that serve in the Israeli military. 
they're not going out of their way. Who wants to who wants to hurt civilians? Right. Like even folks that I know that, that, that went to war and, and, and experienced some awful things and stuff went left. No one's no one wants to do that. You understand the psychological consequences of that. So this notion that Israel is just like indiscriminate. Uh, Crystal on Breaking Point said it's indiscriminately hurting civilians is 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 hogwash. It's 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 n- no one wants that or any Hamas uh, related uh, infrastructure. We tell the people get out of there and we're going to destroy it. We hunt down the Hamas. If Hamas mm. decides to murder its own people by using them as uh, human shields, then Hamas will be responsible for murdering those Palestinians. And what about those Palestinians in hospital who uh, are on life support and babies and incubators whose uh, life support and incubator will have to be turned off because the Israelis have cut the power to... Okay, now this is a good question. This, this, this definitely humanizes some of these folks down there. Gaza. Are you seriously keep on asking me about Palestinian Oof. civilians? Oof. What's, what's wrong with you? Have you not seen what happened? We're fighting. We don't target them. Now, the world can come and bring them anything they want. If it, you want to bring them electricity, I'm not going to feed electricity or water to my enemies. If anyone else wants, that's fine. We're not responsible this is, for them. This is the point. But you this keep is the on, point. You, no, no, I, I, I want to tell you, point. no, no, listen, listen you no, listen to me right now. Voice, I've heard trying, you enough. No, no, I understand. I, I, we're trying to have a conversation here. Listen, this no, is my you're, program. You're, you're this is my show. And I am asking the questions. You're raising your voice. And I've asked you. And we've already, we've already stopped, please. Wow. Whew. Man, you could cut that tension with a knife. Let me finish. We've already distinguished shame between you, Hamas. Mr. I want to tell you, you shame you're, on you. You're trying to speak. No, no. We are not shame on you. It's nothing I'm about pri- shame. We're trying to have a conversation about a very serious shame. situation because, here, because, and you are refusing you to address it. you jump over immediately, and again and again, you absolutely not. Narrative. You are incorrect. They are responsible because I can tell you that when the UK, absolutely when Great not. Britain was fighting the Nazis during World War II, no one asked what's going on in Dresden. It was the Nazis targeting London, and you targeted Dresden. So Listen. shame on you if you go wow. on with that. He pulled a history lesson on. He pulled a history lesson on them. Wow. That was intense. To his point, I didn't know when they said they, they, they cut off electricity, cut off water. Is he saying that, hey, if the UN wants to step in and send in humanitarian aid, they could? Is that what he's getting at? Because that's kind of what he said. I want to know what, what you guys think. Is that is that what he's saying here? Right? Is he saying, hey, if you guys, we're not going to send them water and electricity because we need to get the, the you know, the, the Nazi Hamas out. Is that what he's getting out here? Because because if because because then it's like well where 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 where's all these Arab nations? Why aren't they sending in electricity and water and humanitarian aid if they have the right to? I get I don't I don't know. I'm genuinely asking. I don't know. But if that's what it is, then then, then provide humanitarian aid. Where's the UN? Where's the Red Cross? So no water and electricity and fuel. Yeah, right now, which is which is which is which is crazy. False narrative. We're not talking about that. And that and in I, hindsight, many people have listen. And in hindsight, many people have readdressed that kind of carpet bombing. Oh, oh, I see. Now you're Mr. Clean. Shame on you. Absolutely not. And I'm not. not Listen, Mr. Bennett, I I am not in the military. I'm a journalist asking you questions. Are you going to let me ask you a question or are you going to continue shouting at me? We've already distinguished between Hamas and the Palestinians. I'm asking you very directly, very directly. What do you want to ask? is going to be done to make sure that those innocent people don't get killed as innocent Jewish people were killed on Saturday. We're going to target Hamas and we're telling Hamas that if you use anyone as your human shield and you're going to shoot at us using human shields, that it's their responsibility. Listen, mister, if someone is shooting at your children and hiding behind a a human shield, will you shoot back or not? I'm asking you a question. Someone's shooting at your children but hiding behind civilians. What's the answer? What would you do? Mr. Ben, I'm not here to answer your questions. I've asked you your questions. Oh, and you're not- that's that's weak. That's weak. If he's gonna press, if you're gonna press him and then he presses you and you're not gonna answer the questions, you lost. You lost. It's an impossible situation. I understand. I understand. All right. So- we'll stop. We'll we'll leave it there. Naftali Bennett. Is Israel allowing aid from other countries? Israel Hamas war means nothing is getting in. Yeah, I mean that's a pretty dire situation, man. That's a pretty dire situation. No water because they are making bombs with the pipe. No, I, I get I get why they would cut it off. I understand that. I get why they would cut it off, right? I understand that. But that just, again, if there's 40% of the population, according to the latest poll, don't support Hamas. And those folks are now going to suffer. And hopefully they're getting those folks out. Hopefully Egypt opens up. Let's see if Egypt opened up the borders. Wow. As death soars in Gaza from Israel strikes, Egypt offers aid, but no exit. Wow. If I'm Israel and I know the world's watching and I know the world's with me, man, I'm proceeding so carefully. 
I am proceeding so carefully because how Israel goes about this, if they can 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 create some type of arrangement to get the civilians out of Gaza and 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 not hurt civilians, I guarantee you Israel's up after this. If Israel and th- and this is genuinely my prayer, if Israel shows restraint and allows the civilians out of there, they basically get a blank check to do what they want toward to Hamas. And you're going to see a lot, I think. A lot of people, you're probably going to see those 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 conversations with Saudi Arabia restart. I, if I'm Israel, I'm pr- like I almost feel like Hamas did this in 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 his bait. Yeah, and to your point, now I hear you uh Rockman, how do you, how do you ensure that no terrorists leave with the civilians? That's a fair point. That's a fair point. I don't I don't know how you ensure it. I don't know how you ensure it. I don't know if you can. And by the way, not all of the Gaza Strip, like people can can get, get out of Gaza City because not all of it is equally populated, right? So when people say it's the most densely populated, that, that's also, there's also non-populated areas, right? Gaza is not a, contain, a con, con, contiguous urban areas. Okay, this is John Spencer. Statements that there is nowhere for Gaza citizens to go is, is not true. There are tactics, techniques, methods to get citizens out of combat areas before attacks. The IDF is warning civilians to be to flee specific areas. Okay, so Gaza City is where the majority of the population is. And so they're trying to get people out of Gaza City, and the yellow is the least populated areas. Right? So they can get people out of there. So this notion that like everyone's on top of each other and all of Gaza is not true. They they backed Israel into a corner. They have no choice with innocent lives. It's heartbreaking. Well, Kelly, I mean, listen, I think you're right. I do think, though, that Israel can be shrewd and strategic in this and how they go about this. And I think if they do and they know that they're on the international stage, I think it's in their best interest to be as careful and as delicate as possible when they're already in a in, a, in a possible situation. And so far they are, by the way. So far they're being... Careful and strategic. They're not just flippantly going in there with no plan. They're, I think, and I think they're waiting to let as many people out as possible, or at least relocate people. That's what it sounds. That's what it seems like is happening. I don't know, but it, that's what it seems like is happening. Is they're letting people get out of there. I, I, I hope. I hope. I hope that's what they're waiting for. And they're also just mobilizing and melting. But it's not like they just day two went in there. Like that, this happened Saturday. There's still not. There's still not troops on the ground. I would hold back to let civilians flee if I had to make such a tough decision, which, which, which is what I hope what is playing into them not just going in there like that. Uh, but, but again, I don't know, but I, but I hope. And that's what I'm praying for. We see according to the Bible that prayer is extremely important in terms of us being transformed from the inside out when we get aligned with God's will. I want you guys to implement these spiritual disciplines in your day-to-day life. And the only way I've been able to do this consistently is through writing down my prayers in a prayer journal that does a few things. One, it allows me to reflect and come to God humbly and ask Him to move on my behalf. And two, it allows me to document my prayers which ultimately helped me remember the very things that I was praying for and see the hand of God tangibly in my life when he answers them. So I would urge you, consider writing down your prayers. It could be in a blank notebook. It could even be on your phone. Or you could check out the one I personally designed and used from my own quiet time and spiritual discipline that I think would be a huge blessing. It's the exact structure and system that I've used for years to pray and be more consistent in my spiritual disciplines. And here's the thing, with the hope to create a prayer movement, we've made the PDF version of this prayer journal completely free. So to get the PDF of our prayer journal completely for free, go to blessgodpdf.shop now.